hey everyone, this is the Stupid Genius 55. The Stupid Genius 55 diction, I must remember that. Ghost Motel, the fifth, Demon Underworld. I'm as tired as shit right now. I think y'all know how tired shit can get. Oh, I could hear the music. Like the music is here. Pink and black. And here's some champion voice acting here. Hey Ray, what are those pink and black crystals in those fields? That is a field of fast corn. Those pink and black crystals you see are fast It's decent, I guess. Not as bad as some of the earlier stuff. What about fast forms? You see, Joseph, in the physical world, when the humans think things in their minds, they create a thought form, which appears in our spiritual world. Every invisible human thought creates a visible thought form here. Some thoughts or thought forms are positive, which are pink color, while some thoughts or thought forms are negative, which are a black color. Positive thoughts are things related to love, compassion, peace, kindness, happiness, and courage. Negative <laughs> my favorite ones. Sorry, I was away for my commentary for a second. They gave me a notification. The HP support assistant. It's giving me a notification about how it wants me to give it a tune up, and it took me like five minutes to select no. It's like, no, I had to postpone. How do the problems affect us in our spiritual world? As you know already, there are ghosts, evil spirits, and good you never see good spirits, you always see ghosts and demons. In this series, I mean. Well, that's what I have meant. While the demons feed on the negative thought forms of hate to make themselves stronger and attack us with the negative energies. But how is it possible for a ghost to get hurt? We are not talking about physical hurt and pain. It's about spiritual or mental pain. Much like in a nightmare or a bad dream. For example, when you were once alive... So the demons attack us by hurting our feelings. Dream, like fear that could hurt they leave a boo-boo on our souls. Case, a like the first episode of Captain N. <laughs> to a physical state of being. Captain N the Game and Master. Here, the spiritual world, everything we feel here is real. And there is no escape from it. We just have to deal with it. Being dead, what does... One option here is being dead, but what does that have to do with us? Okay, then you ask him a question, he's just talking. Way, since you don't have to deal with your inner feelings, if you don't want to. But those poor sets who commit suicide, they will have, they have a long, long time, time to deal with. Okay. All of their feelings, or their so-called demons. Being dead is like being stuck in a dream world. It's like an alternate world. Oh yeah, so they're like metaphors for bad times, I guess, or something. Are also in the spiritual world. That's why we have cities. I bet we can relate. and places of entertainment. Hmm, I think I know what you mean. That wasn't necessary at all. Space might appear to be overwhelming. I think I know what you mean. Like, why do you say that? There's no reason for him to say that. Since we fight with love, and love is a greater power than hate. Love everyone. Conquer over fear. Yeah, did he just start speaking and then stop and give me the option to speak? It might give me the option. Like, there's no other options. Remember when I told you before about the underworld? Everything below the ground is the underworld. Do you see that big hole over there? If we go down it, we can get to the underworld. Let's go. Which way do we go? Again, with the speaking! Like, partially speaking and stopping, giving us the option to speak and listening and you listen to him. Which way do we go? I don't know, but let's split up, and we'll find the right tunnel a lot faster. Yeah, this is basically how the game works. You go into a tunnel, then you get a choice of three other tunnels. Okay, you get a choice of these three tunnels, basically. You can go anywhere you want. Now you go in these three, there's only one that'll take you to the next room. So, I think it's the middle one. No. Well, he says he'll do it, and then one of these doors, but the thing is, so the tired thing is, you own one of these doors. Now, as soon as you own the door, you can choose to look around, but they'll all kill you like this. Like so. Yeah, 
even though you can't really die and you're a ghost. And maybe they, I don't know, V is being spiritually hurt again. Spiritual pain. You go to the left tunnel, you find a map here, but basically, when you go in the correct tunnel, you might, okay, you think that, you might be thinking that, ah, I'm stuttering. You may be thinking that when you go in the correct tunnel, you will find the, that's strange, I could have sworn it was the, yeah. Anyways, you think if you go into the, that you have to look around to make sure it's the correct tunnel when you find the one. But no, it's not, so it's not even trial and error. You just, you just try, I mean, it is, but you know, you just go through each door and find which one's the correct one. But at least this one tells you which tunnel you can go through that won't lead you back. But then, these other ones should be like dead ends then. Like the wrong paths in the, I mean, sorry, the wrong paths in the second chamber. Go back. But anyways, here's the correct tunnel will save you all the trouble. And yeah, that's right, I made you go through all that stuff, and all I had to do was this, basically. Is this it? See? Help me, Joseph, you're my only hope. This must be the right channel. I've checked all the others already. No, you should have died. Now she chooses to walk. Okay, why are you giving us a selection? By the way, uh... Hold on, guy. You're not going anywhere unless you can beat me. Hi, I'm Joseph, and this is my friend Ray. We mean you no harm. We just want to get through the tunnel. Joseph. Hmm. No, I'm not going to let you get through this tunnel. Yeah, you might want to skip this part here if you're prone to epilepsy. I'll, I'll show you which part you can you'll skip to. You can, and if you're using a computer, then you, I'll, I'll, I'll then you, ah, I will provide an annotation. Snakes. Yep, here it is. Aha! Uh -huh, welcome. Oh boy, basketball! Yay! Fun ride! Oh no, you- Oh yeah, you've been drinking tonight, buddy, yeah. Drinking. Yeah, hungover tomorrow morning, probably. Yes, he spoke a thought, people. What really speaking is, you're speaking thoughts, since the thoughts form your mind, they form words. This episode's almost over, so. I've gotta go to my mom's concert tonight, she's doing like a play, or not a play, it's like a musical, so I think you can tell how enthused I am. To be continued. How'd that song go? I forget. Violet's aim. And that is it for today. So I'll be seeing you next time, people. On this next magical journey to Ghost Motel 6.